Hello everybody, it's the Centralized Dave here and I'm back with another track record video. My exposure is changing and I'm happy to announce that from my perspective, the sentiment reset that was needed uh, in a crypto space after the march, after we broke the all-time high in Bitcoin, uh, the sentiment reset and especially after the May and June, after we had the mean season, um, uh, the sentiment reset has been more or less complete or around to complete and in my opinion it is time to dramatically increase exposure to come back a majority crypto or even all in however there are there is a big big uh, uh, problem with going all in uh, at the same time uh, I will talk more about all of these problems and different scenarios that I see and I account for I projected for myself uh, I will talk more about it in my upcoming quarterly presentation, but it's still Q3, so it's a little too early for a, a quarterly presentation. And at the same time, it's always uh, good to give it uh, some time to, to mature and also the conclusion to, uh, to age, so then we can uh, look back at the previous conclusion and to assess how well it aged. So I will do the quarterly presentation in Q4. Uh, however, uh, I am increasing exposure as we speak. I have a huge limit order on Bitcoin at 56.5k. Uh, I'm not sure <laughs> if it's even that gonna get filled. I am aware that I did miss the, the bottom retest at the 6th of, uh, of, of September. I was really expecting it at the second half of September, so the market front ran me again. And now I am kind of thinking that I probably uh, will get only the, the high 50s or upper half of 50s where we are at the moment. However, I do also think that before September ends, we should not really leave 60s, uh, 50s, excuse me. And even if you leave 50s in September, go to 60 something, I believe that still during the month of September, we will yet again return to the high 50s. But at the same time, I'm also hunting at the moment for the good altcoins to buy. So I've been going through all of altcoins that I'm mapping. It's many hundreds of them. And I have, I have actually picked some that are showing that their chart is showing some early signs of reversal, some early strength returning. So for instance, I did buy some ICP. This is very interesting. I've never bought this before. Uh, Sui escaped me. My limit orders are still there. I will probably have to cancel them and find something else. But I also, uh, as I also told you, I'm expecting a good rebound on altcoin, on, on meme, meme coins. And, and in either way, I think they will rebound strong. Even if I'm right, even because I keep saying that all of the meme counts need to be completely destroyed and the, the, especially the Solana memes need to go really, uh, really down and they haven't still yet. They corrected somewhat, but they are rebouncing already very strong. And remember the Solana meme coins still, still had their season in July. It is just two months, so it's just too soon in my opinion. But even if I'm right in this, uh, the, the good rebounds are actually likely or I am just wrong and all of the cultists, the Solana meme coins cultists will get insanely rich because we really will the coming months uh, in this in the Q4 and maybe Q1 next year we really will then go to the new all time highs and multiples. So I can also be wrong in this. So make sure to hedge against my opinion that the memes uh, will need further uh, resetting uh, before they can come back as a trend and and eventually have a meme season again in the future. Uh, and by that time when it happens, in my opinion, these memes will not really be that, that trendy. It will be the new memes that probably are not even created. Uh, more or less, uh, there are some exceptions. One of them, I believe, is Pepe. I'm hunting for Pepe, but that is too early. In my opinion, I have not yet bought it. Um, uh, because Pepe is correlated with, uh, with Ethereum, or should be, and I think that Ethereum uh, is going to start showing strength still a little bit later than Bitcoin. Bitcoin is already showing strength. Um, and uh, yeah, and where do I take these things from, uh, from here? So where are my targets? So I am not yet sure if I go like 90% in or all in, depending how many orders get filled or how many get left behind. And, uh, but it's probably going to be around all in. So that's pretty risky, okay? Uh, 
again, probably in my quarterly presentation, I'm gonna get the space that I need to explain you. But what I think is the most likely, bottom line, the most likely scenario, okay? Let's not spend time about the less likely scenarios. So what is the main purpose of the market manipulator? What is the main purpose? The main purpose is to make sure that the least amount of people make money. And imagine that there is a recession in the horizon because also the one of the yield curves, I, the, the one that I consider more important, it uninverted already. But of course it can still uh, back invert. Let's see, it's not going uh, uh, fast up. But if there is a recession on the horizon in the three to six months, then do you think that the market is going to let crypto guys like me is going to let us to have a cycle blow of top cycle the, the late late cycle parabolum the new all-time highs of the cmc and stuff and then everything is gonna crash and and so people can happily exit and and retire to the islands like that's not likely in my opinion so from my perspective the most likely scenario uh, let's just now talk about this year, about the coming quarter. Because I do think that we have roughly two quarters of more or less bullishness before every, before all the sentiment again completely goes again like nuts and we hit and we then can go, in my opinion, further up. So because the sentiment is now very tricky, even though it was sufficient, sufficiently retest at the start of August, at the start of September, but just a few days ago, we were 60,000 or something, and the sentiment was again like so quickly changing back to very bullish. <laughs> so, like, uh, I think it's gonna be a very, very quickly that the, the bullish sentiment will return. And the most likely scenario from my perspective is going to be that uh, for the rest of this year, so in Q4, uh, altcoins will not do much. Ethereum will only rebound to around 3,000-ish. And Bitcoin will only around retest its all-time high. And the next quarter, it's a little too early to talk about it, but I'm already skeptical that we will break the 3 trillion CMC again. I'm already very skeptical about it, I suspect as unbelievable as it sounds, guys. I suspect another trap where, where Bitcoin could break all-time highs, the, 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 the total market cap CMC not. So again, we'll stay below 3 trillion, which is the previous all-time high of the previous cycle, and which would be another trap, another kind of, another distribution. But I think this is not happening this year. So again, around for the major altcoins like Ethereum, from the levels where they are today, I am eyeing about 20 to 30 percent only. So underwhelming. I'm pretty sure that very few people will sell there. And Bitcoin actually around 20, 30 percent as well because Bitcoin is in high 50s. So 20 to 30 percent from the current levels is already kind of retesting the all-time highs. That's my actually target for the Q4, and that's also where I have to take and I will take money off the table because I do think it's still very very tricky um, I don't see for instance projections that the cycle has ended I see one girl and that's it I don't see that so I think that the full reversal where we go only up from here to the end of the cycle I'm skeptical that that is the case today but I do believe that the sentiment has been reset. We are in for very good rebounds, and I believe the majority crypto is yet again justified.